Much. Yeah, it's, there's no doubt about it that the people of Oliver Springs are proud of their town. Certainly goes without saying, but it took the work of a lot of people, including many of the folks you see here behind me now, to turn a 100-year-old building into a lasting tribute. It's a building that was once a movie theater, bowling alley, and even a car dealership. They repaired cars right here where Robbie and I are sitting now and drove them out to our right back out on the street once they repaired them. But now the Oliver Springs Historical Society Museum highlights the town's history. And we're thrilled to have this building, save this building, because really, I think the intent was to tear the building down. Inside, you'll find archives, exhibits, and a streetscape that's like taking a walk back in time. But 15 years ago, this building looked very different. The roof had, had fallen. It yes. had taken the water for many years. The roof had fallen in about a foot or more. We had to actually jack that whole structure up to get it up to where we could repair the trusses, but it was in collapse when we got it. For Historical Society members Jerry White and Robbie Underwood, it was a major undertaking to restore the building. The building began to deteriorate, it began to leak, uh, there was no upkeep. <clears throat> when we acquired the building, we had to do new plumbing, new wiring and everything. A self-proclaimed history buff, Robbie had a vision for how it all should look. It was up to the town to help him make it all happen. You look at the fabric of a town, you know, the people that kind of forged the whole thing, like our forefathers, uh, kind of make it what it is today. But it's only history, if, uh, you know, really if people know about it, otherwise it's lost. Museum director Woody Duncan makes sure each display in the museum is authentic. It was just awesome. I loved the woodwork, the architect, and Robbie's done a wonderful job, you know, with all that. And it's just a fabulous building. The museum is even looking to the town's future to tell its history through members of Eva Robbins' STEM students at Oliver Springs Academy. We have woodworking, vinyl, uh, 3D printing. The Oliver Springs Historical Society has invited us in to be a part of it, and so we're going to be uh, partners, and we're going to be helping create signage, we're going to be helping create displays, and uh, even to the point of where we're going to create some virtual um, tours for them. But perhaps the most stunning part of Robbie's vision for the museum is the streetscape, built with the help of Roan County inmates mentored by Sergeant Robert Sparks. And I get a chance to teach these men and, and teach them a trade. We went by just pictures. That's all we had, uh, pictures and a vision. And we just kind of, as we went to each one, you know, Robbie was like, well, the store was here, or this front was here. For Robbie Underwood and those who helped to build the museum, it's a true labor of love and a sense of pride in their community. The thing about something like this, you can't rise above the people that are willing to think with you.